Hello my friends, I'm Brett Larkin. Thank you so much for stopping by at my channel and especially a warm welcome if you're new. Today we're doing an intermediate to advanced flow focused on twists and balancing. So if you're totally new to yoga, definitely do one of my beginner classes instead. But if you're looking for a bit of a power flow, a workout, this is gonna be great for you. And in addition to balancing and twists, our focus today is also on gratitude, this idea of reverence, and this class is really going to shift your energy. Let's get started. It's time to feel uplifted. To begin, come to the top of the mat, feet hip width apart, bring the hands to prayer at heart center. Micro bend the knees, lengthen your tailbone towards your heels, and draw your hips up towards your chin, Navigate the navel in towards your low back. Take three deep breaths here. Just thinking of something you're grateful for in your life. Even if you're in a period of extreme challenge right now, you feel like you're being tested, be grateful that you're taking this time right now to be on your mat. Be grateful for your own inner wisdom and self-compassion for creating this time for yourself. Inhale, sweep the arms up, deep breath in. On your out breath, fold over your legs. On your in breath, half lift, get long. On your out breath, step back, downward facing dog. First down dog of the day, so just pedal through the legs here. Press down through the index finger, knuckle and thumb, feel that L shape of the hands. And pull up through the arch of your palm. It's like you were slipping party gloves. Feel that energy ripple up from the wrist to just past the elbow as you press down through the knuckles and pull up through the palms. Send the top of your head down towards your thumbs and send your shoulders back towards your hips. Three more breaths in this dog. You can kind of pedal out the legs or just find stillness. Close the eyes if you can. Inhale, reach the right leg high to the sky. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Good, inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Coming into low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Inhale, reach the arms up. Deep breath in. And out. Squeeze the inner thighs together here. One more deep breath in. And out. Once more, huge breath in. Exhale, hands frame the foot. Shift your weight back, hamstring stretch. Toes flex towards the sky, big breath in. And then exhale, fold forward. Pull the right hip back into its socket here. Get longer, maybe use blocks on either side of the legs. Inhale, find more length. Crown of head to tailbone is a nice long line. On your out breath, you pull the abdominals in to fold. Two more like that, breathing in. Breathing out. Once more, deep breath in. And out. And you take the left hand underneath your face, reach the right hand high to the sky, a little IT band stretch here. Keep pulling the right hip back in space, squeeze the inner thighs together, toes point straight towards the ceiling. And two deep breaths. Good, and then re-bend into the front knee, hands frame the foot. Option one, you can just step to Tadasana. Option two, kick off the back left leg, come into a little standing split. So you're just continuing that stretch on the back right seam of the leg here in your standing split, and maybe play with balance. Lifting one hand and the other hand off the mat, pulling the pelvic floor up and in for three, two, one, and if you uh, just met us in Tadasana, that's okay too. Inhale, we'll all reach up. Exhale, hands at prayer at heart center. 
And breathing in, circle the arm down, around and up. Breathing out, fold over your legs. Breathing in, half lift, get long. This time exhale, step back to a plank pose. And if you like, you can move through chaturanga. So lower halfway or all the way to the floor. Take cobra or upward facing dog, whatever serves your practice today. We'll all meet downward dog. Inhale, take the left leg to the sky, bend the knee, stack the hips. Deep breath in, send that knee farther away from you. Exhale, draw knee to nose, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, draw knee to nose. Once more, inhale, up and back. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands. Low lunge, back knee drops to the ground, circle the arms down, around and up. Three deep breaths here, spin the pinkies towards the back wall, plug the shoulders down and back, huge breath in. Exhale all the way. Two more like that, full in breath. Complete out breath. Last time. Inhaling, filling up, belly, ribs, chest, taking more air than you think you can. Exhale, fold over this front leg. So straighten the left leg, left toes straight towards the ceiling. Inhale, find length in the spine, tailbone to crown of head. Exhale, fold. Really great pose for blocks if you have them. And keep pulling the left hip back into its socket. Enjoying the hamstring stretch here. Good. And then take the right hand underneath the face. Left hand high to the sky, IT band stretch. Pull the left hip now back as you roll the chest towards the ceiling. Relax the shoulders, three deep breaths. Hands frame the foot, curl the back toes under. You can step to the top of the mat, meet us in forward fold or tadasana, otherwise standing split. Right leg high to the sky, test your balance, just play with it. Lift one hand and then maybe the other hand off the ground. You can always have the hands on blocks, glide the shoulders down and back. We're here for three, for two, make sure to point or flex or floint the foot. Last breath, good. We'll all meet tadasana, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Breathing in, inhale, circle the arms down, around and up. Breathe out, fold. Breathe in, half lift, get long. Exhale, step it back, plank, chaturanga. You can always take cobra, you can always choose to skip it. We'll meet downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, draw the right knee to the left elbow across the body. Inhale up and back. Right knee to right elbow go wide. Inhale up and back. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Easy twist, left hand stays down, right arm reaches up. Breathe in. As you breathe out, squeeze the inner thighs together, power up more through the back heel, get light on the left hand and pull, it's like someone's pulling your right wrist up to a twisted lunge. Big breath in and out. Once more, a huge breath in and out. And take the right hand to the back thigh, reach the left arm up and back if you want for a little extra side bend, back bend. Last breath here, good. And then as you come to uh, the top of the mat, you're just gonna take your hands, listen carefully, square your lunge, pull your left knee into your chest as you come into Tadasana. Good, hold the knee, deep breath in and out, deep breath in and out. Float that leg back to warrior three. So just playing with the concept of warrior three. 
We'll visit here again, so just play. It can be really nice to bend the standing leg, drop the left hip, and then re-extend the standing leg, dip the chin, press the heel back, press the crown of head forward. Again, keep thinking of dropping that left hip much more than you need to, and then lift the left leg a little more. We're here for three, for two, for one. Drop the foot, inhale, reach up, come into a back bend, hook the thumbs, open the heart. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, find a twist once again. So left hand forward, right hand back, just in your Tadasana. Breathe in, look up. Exhale, twisting right hand forward, left hand back. Inhale, reach up. Once more, each side. Press the air away. Keep the hips square to the front of the room best you can as you twist in the upper body. Last time, exhaling. Twist. Good. Inhale. And exhale, fold. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, step it back. Plank chaturanga or skip it. From downward facing dog, lift the left leg high. Exhale, draw your knee to your right elbow. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, up and back. Step the foot between the palms. Easy twist, right hand down, left arm up. Deep breath in. Squeeze the inner thighs together, power up through that back heel. Imagine someone pulling your left wrist and that's gonna take you up into this twisted high lunge. Three deep breaths here. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Imagine someone had ropes on either wrist and were pulling your arms apart. Huge breath. As you're ready, you can take the back hand to the back thigh. Reach the top arm up and over. Coming into that side bend, back bend. And you know where we're going now, so no rush, but visualize having the right knee high in Tadasana. So first you'll square the hips forward, arms reach forward, power up through that back leg. Here you go, pull the knee into the chest. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Coming into warrior three, second side. So pressing the right heel back, tipping the upper body forward trying to have the whole body parallel to the floor, the, the uh, upper body and the right leg rather. Bend the left knee, drop the right hip more than you think you need to. Think of the pinky toe of the right side spiraling to the floor. Hug the abdominals in, hug everything up and in. Kick the heel away, reach the crown of head forward. Really find that length. Heel kicking back, crown of head forward. We're here for three, for two, for one, drop the foot, little back bend, thumbs interlace, big breath in. Mm, and then exhale, right hand forward, left hand back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, left hand forward, right hand back. And lift up. Once more, each side. So it's like you greet the east or the west, depending where you are, you greet upwards towards the sky. Exhale. Greeting each of the directions. Inhale, reach up. Breathe out, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step it back. Your choice, plank chaturanga or skip it. You can always take a child's pose or go straight to downward facing dog. All right, coming into our peak flow. Joining in down dog when you're ready, just pedaling through the legs. There's no rush. I'm playing with the twist and the balance. Inhale, take the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose just once, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, step the foot between the hands on Janeo once again, low lunge. Inhale. Exhale, once again, left hand forward, right hand back. So you're in the same position. Come into that little back bend again. So the hand's gonna come onto the back thigh or knee. Left arm reaches up and over. You have a lot of stability because the back knee's on the ground. And then left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Bring the hands to prayer. So you're in 
prayer twist with the back knee on the ground. Two deep breaths here. Keep pressing the right knee towards the right. Get longer through the crown of the head. Every in-breath, you draw your abdominals up and in, and the exhale, you pull them in even more. So a lot of power here. It's like you're a corkscrew. And then curl the back toes under, coming into revolve twist with the back knee lifted, only if it feels comfortable for you. Squeeze the inner thighs together, pull the right hip back in space. We're here for three. For two, visualize chair twist. One, you're gonna step or slide that back foot, so that same action of bending the back knee and stepping it forward into your chair twist. Keep the low back level here best you can. So peek down at your knees, notice if one knee's peeking forward of the other. Make both level, squeeze the inner thighs and knees together, sink the hips back. Three more deep breaths in this twist. We're here for three, two, Last one, good, and then come to chair. Pick the left knee up off the ground and pull it into the chest. So that leg that was just working now gets to be our standing support. Deep breath in, deep breath out. See if you can find that warrior three. Maybe try a different arm variation this time. So reaching the arms forward or taking the hands to prayer or you can keep the hands on the hips. Bring the knee back in you're like a little pendulum and you're just playing with your balance here so as you take it back hands at prayer any variation you choose inhale bring the leg back up knee into chest play with two more on your own Let the judgment and sort of competitiveness with yourself go and just have fun. Have fun with this little flow. We'll all meet with the left knee pulled into the chest. Bend the right knee now coming into your eagle wrap. So that top leg, left leg wraps around. You can always just have the foot on the floor or you can choose to double wrap. Get low, inhale, elbows go wide. Take the right elbow underneath the left. Draw the shoulder blades down and apart. Sink low, 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 low. Challenge yourself here. Slow, deep breaths. Keep the elbows navigating up and away from you. Anchor the shoulder blades far apart from one another. Keep the shoulder blades on your back, gliding down. Elbows lift away in opposition. We're here for three, for two, for one. Pull that left knee back into the chest. Open it up, tree pose. Woo! Hands at prayer. And your choice, stay here or grow your tree. Gaze steady at a single point of focus in front of you. Good, last breath. Pull the left knee back into the chest. Exhale, step it all the way to the back of the mat. Listen carefully, hands plant so you're in a lunge with the right foot forward. Kick the right leg high to the sky so you're in down dog with the right leg lifted. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Option one, stay here. Option two, if it feels safe and you're interested, flip your dog. Nice big release after all that balancing and steadiness. So you're ready, you can flip it back around. You can do chaturanga or one-legged chaturanga, or you can totally skip. Child's pose would feel really good about now, so your choice, five breaths in child's pose or in downward facing dog. Feel a swell of pride regardless of how that first side went. Get excited for the next round. Inhale, lift left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands. Back knee drops, Anjanea, low lunge. First thing, we reach the right hand forward and the left hand back. So finding that twist, 
and then dropping the left hand, finding that back bend and opening, reaching through the right fingers. Your in breath. Get longer here. And your out breath, you bring the right elbow to the left knee, coming into the twist, feeling the stability of the earth beneath you. You pull the abs up and in to make this rotation happen. Notice if your knee starts drifting towards the center of the mat. Keep moving the knee towards the left edge of the mat. Drawing the navel up and in. We're here for four deep breaths. Good, and now curl the back toes under. Straighten the back leg. Nice deep rotation here now in the full lunge. And only if you choose, dip the chin. Think heel to crown of head, this long line of energy. Every inhale, breathe into that line. Find more length. Every exhale, twist a little deeper. One more breath. Visualize chair twist at the top of the mat. Bend into the back knee. Step forward, make it happen as you're ready. You can always do that in two movements and readjust as needed. Take the seat lower to the ground, spread the toes, make sure the low back is in neutral. So notice if one knee is popping forward of the other, notice my right knee wanting to pop forward. Enjoy this twist, three deep breaths, really pressuring into the palms. Now coming into chair, just for a beat, and then we're pulling that right knee into the chest as we come to stand. Whew, hello left thigh. All right, here we go. Flex the right foot. As you're ready, play with your first warrior three. So you're just dipping forward. You can almost make this like a reverent practice. Like a, the warrior three is like a little bow, and you're just flowing between these two shapes on your own. So pulling the knee up towards the chin. Exhale, dipping. Warrior three, you can play with different arm variations. Micro bend that standing leg to drop the right hip if you want. Two more on your own. Good, and then we'll all meet pulling the chin or the knee in towards the chin. Bend that standing left leg, wrap that top right thigh across, double wrap or single, inhale, elbows wide, left under right this time, find your eagle wrap. Get lower and lower. Challenge yourself here. This is the kind of apex of the whole situation. So it only gets easier from here. Get really low, pull the abs in, lift the elbows, send the elbows up and away from your body. Keep the shoulder blades wide. We're here for three, for two, for one. Come on up, pull the knee into the chest. Tree, plant it, hands to prayer. Your choice to grow your tree. Keep the gaze steady. You are unwavering in your commitment to this practice right now. Press the sole of foot into the thigh and the thigh into the sole of the foot. Grow taller. You did it. You made it all the way here. Visualize yourself as if you're standing on top of a mountain. And then all ease and fluidity now. Pull that knee into the chest, right knee high. Listen carefully, step it all the way to the back of the mat. So you're coming into a lunge. Left leg is forward in that lunge. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. So you come back into a downward facing dog. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Flip your dog or not. You can always take child's pose. We're all meeting. Uh, you can do one-legged chaturanga if you like. If you did it on the other side, just keep things even. But we're all meeting in child's pose. So you can do uh, another vinyasa flow, or you can just melt into the mat, melt into the earth, meet us here. Deep belly breaths now. 
And breathing into the abdominals, breathing into the low back. Soften everything. Slowly press yourself up and we're coming into double pigeon. So just to continue on our theme, a little bit uh, of intense hip opening. So if you don't like double pigeon, you can take traditional pigeon. You can also take uh, start with the left uh, leg in front and just fold forward. So this is always a nice stretch. Otherwise, for a traditional double pigeon, right, you're stacking left ankle over right knee. You can always pad up with blocks, bring the floor to you. And then um, I'm gonna offer up this variation uh, with the T shape of the blocks. I really like this one. Sometimes your T has to be really high, depending on the range of motion in your hips on any given day. And for many of you, just being here might be enough. And remember, you can always just do cross legs and fold forward and you'll get a lovely hip stretch as well. Wherever you are, let's inhale, reach up. Interlace the palms, press them towards the ceiling. Exhale, press the air away. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands through prayer. And now bow forward. So tap into that idea of reverence again. And now you choose sort of how you're supporting yourself, how you're propping this up. Make sure that left foot stays very flexed, that it's overhanging the knee. No sickling in the left foot. And breathe into whatever's coming up in the left hip. Likely there's somewhere in the body that you're subconsciously clenching. So do a scan, see if you can find that place now and then soften it. And tell yourself, relax, tell that part of the body, let go. Slowly press yourself up. You're gonna side bend over to the right. So it might be different since I'm not mirroring you. So if you have your left foot on top, you take the left hand down. So for you, that might be going this way. Left arm up and over. So right hand down, even though the left foot is on top. Hope I said that right. Basically, you're looking, you're stretching away from the hip. So right hand to the floor, which is the same side as the left foot being flexed, left arm up and over. Keep both sitting bones rooting down, keep space between the shoulders and the ears. And three deep breaths. Just breathing into the side waist and that connection of the side waist and where the low back and the fascia there kind of becomes, uh, melds into the hip. Come on up, extend this left leg out to the side. We're magically in uh, John Ushirsasana variation, like more half Upavishta Kanasana here. Toes of the left uh, foot point straight up towards the sky. Take that right arm up and over. So now we're stretching the opposite uh, side body, lateral stretch on the right side. I really like to bend the elbow and have the elbow resting on the floor on the inside of the leg. Uh, blocks here could be interesting for some of you. Again, we're looking for length on the underside waist, a lot of length on the top side waist. Not so much about collapsing and uh, holding onto the toe, at least for today's focus. Send your breath into your side body.
Good, last huge breath. Take the right hand behind you. Reach the left arm up in a big circle, lift the hips. Just a little stretch for the upper body. Reach the left arm maybe in a circle or two. Good. Sink the hips back down towards the ground. Setting up for the other side. So bring the left shin forward. Now if you just did uh, cross legs, you'll just take the right shin in front this time to fold forward. Otherwise, coming into your ankle to knee variation, right ankle this time overhangs left knee. Inhale, reach up. Flip the palms, just find length in the spine, press the palms towards the sky. Flick the hands apart, let that go on an out breath. Deep inhale. Exhale, hands through prayer. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, fold forward. Setting yourself up with your blocks again. Kind of deciding where you want to go from here. Sits bones are still rooting back. Let the upper body be soft and melt forward. Let go of any expectation that the two sides should be the same. So you may be experiencing a lot more or a lot less intensity. Just make your peace with that. Back off as necessary or go deeper. Look for that place where you're secretly holding tension, whether it's the sole of a foot or in the clench of the jaw or in the gaze or the shoulders or the palms. Soften that. And breathe into the right hip like it was a balloon you wanted to inflate with breath. So really commit to your release here. And breathing into sensation. Slowly press yourself up. <laughs> See if I can do a better job explaining this on the second side. So uh, left hand comes to the ground, so same direction as the right foot. You're gonna inhale the right arm up and over. Side body stretch, so you're stretching out of that right hip. Should feel really good. Don't just go as far as you can, letting the right hip leave the ground. Instead, pressure down through the left hand. So again, we're thinking length on both sides of the waist. Rotate the chest towards the ceiling. Anchor the right sit bone down. Three deep breaths here. And play with that positioning of the left hand. Really inflating the side ribs with breath. For three. For two. For one. Come on up, let that right leg go long. Here we are, Upavishta Janusharsasana. Once again, lateral stretch, left arm reaches up and over. Right elbow can go on the floor, on top of the knee, sort of see where is best for you. But again, keep length on both sides of the waist. And draw that top left shoulder blade down the back.
the left hand behind you, sweep the right arm up this time. Two big circles with the arm. Seat descends as you're ready. Turn back towards the top of the mat. Both legs straight. Paschimottanasana, or if you prefer, Baddha Konasana. You can have the knees bent or straight. If you want to take Baddha Konasana, go for it. Otherwise, Paschimottanasana, legs can be straight or bent. Bent legs is going to give you more of a low back stretch. Straight legs will be more of a hamstring stretch. Bent legs is more of a low back stretch. Straight legs is more of a hamstring stretch. See what works for you today. What are you needing? Good, and then regardless of which variation you did, bring the soles of the feet towards the floor, hug the knees, hold the elbows, and just let your chin drift into your body. Just a moment of surrender here, letting everything soften. So you're just curled up kind of like in a little ball. Chin into chest, head heavy. You can rock back on your sits bones just a touch. And three deep breaths here. Good, and then take the hands behind you. Scooch forward on the mat if you need to. Just windshield wiper the knees to the left and the right and the left and the right. And then come down onto your forearms, continuing to do this, just kind of soothing yourself it's like you're rocking yourself into your own Shavasana. And down all the way, knees still rocking. And then when you're ready, you can let that go and let both legs go long. Take a deep, deep, deep breath in, acknowledging all your hard work. Exhale, let it go, nose or mouth. Once more, inhale of acknowledgement. Exhale, completely surrender. So make this longer, like double the length of whatever I'm doing. Slowly wiggle the fingers and the toes. Rub the thumbs over the pads of the fingers. You can rock and roll up to a seat or you can draw one knee into the chest at a time. Rolling over to your right side and then pressing up. However you want to get there, just take your time. Once you're in a seated position, bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Come back to that same concept we opened with. Gratitude. Even if you're being challenged, grateful for this time you created. Even if you found the balancing challenging, grateful for your ability to show up and not take anything too seriously. If nothing else, just be grateful for this physical form you're in. And what a gift to be able to complete a practice like this. And we'll close with one long OM. You can listen or join. So exhale all the breath out of the body. Inhaling for OM. OM. for sharing this time and space with me, from my heart to yours. Namaste.